Spencer's Dairy since 1954. The start of another vacation up here in Ohio. Me, Sea Suck, and Boots. I've been eating on that sucker for five minutes or so. Decided to get the camera out because this is a baby cone, believe it or not, at Oser's. Hey, has, uh, hang on a minute. Hang on one minute. Has Canal changed much or does it seem pretty much the same as when you lived up here 16 years ago? Seems pretty much the same. Yeah, it really has. It hasn't changed a whole lot, has it? Nope, it's got the same small town feel. I love it. Yeah, well, that's because it is a small town. Here comes the mouth. Yeah, David, that way out there will take you right to um, Northwest High School. Yep, here we are at Oser's where David and Renee used to love and come to go Osering. What? Can you believe that that's one scoop? Bring it over here, let me see. That's one scoop of ice Sun. cream. Oh yeah, it's a beautiful, gorgeous day. And no humidity. I love the ice cream all over your face, that makes me smile. Well, the ice cream not only all over my face, it's dripping down my hand. See how it drips down my hand? I'm trying to video and eat my cream too and I'm having trouble doing it. Yeah, we've been in Ohio for about three hours and we've already hit Swenson's and Oser's. I what? like the lemon crumble berry. Uh-oh, it's dripping down my fingers even more. This is <laughs> not good. Hey Rocky, what should I do? What is that you have? I have a lemon berry, which is what I'm pulling out, going in my cone. And I got blueberry also. But a lemon berry and David got a dingleberry. Well, that should make a great combo. Mix them together. Yeah, this is more like it. I got rid of that cone. Now I can, uh, whenever we're done, we'll go on inside and take, did I, what, did I get it all over no, me? you have ice cream right under your I have nose. ice cream on my nose. <laughs> that. So, let me see, how much did you enjoy that? I enjoyed it a lot, but I don't think there's any ice cream under my nose. When I do this, it looks just the same as it did before. <laughs> Am I right? Uh, absolutely 100% right. Okay, all right. You're silly, you're you sloppy. You can stop it, you can okay. stop it. Man, if there's one thing I love to see, it's work being done and me not participating. A lot easier, a lot easier on the other end of that camera, isn't it? It's a lot easier on this end of the camera, but you have to admit, it goes by pretty quick when you have somebody to talk to, doesn't it? Oh yeah. Goes by a lot quicker. Don't get as much work done. <laughs> what do you mean? I didn't. I didn't stop you from doing any work. In fact, I even gave you a good idea. No, but I'm just saying that's the way I work. I've had trouble doing two things at once talking and working at the same time. Oh, you should be the President of the United States. You have the number one qualification. No, I ain't crooked enough. Yeah, that's probably true. I'm not crooked enough and I have morals. Uh, yeah, you definitely couldn't be the President of the United States. Something our uh, President's uh, administration has no comprehension of is morals. Uh, no politician does. Well, I, I'm going to fill in what Tim's doing. I, in fact, I'm going to show you. Hang on a second here, folks. The boy got tired of these jagged uh, grass lines down his, uh, well, it's not really his driveway. It's the, the uh, extension into his pole barn. So he's straightened them up, putting in some stones, digging out the old grass and planting it on the other side so it's straight down on both sides. Now this is temporary until uh, he gets the house paid off and then he's going to uh, put concrete in here. You ever see that? The, how they have what? Stamped concrete. Uh, what do you mean? They'll actually pour concrete, they'll put a coloring in yeah. on whatever you want yeah. and then they'll stamp and it'll make it look like it's you can make it look like bricks. Oh, yes, yes, I know exactly what you're... That's what you're going to have done? I'd like to, yeah. And then that... Oh, now, I, I need to show everybody what the pole barn we're talking about. Hang on. 
Yeah, this is it right here. This sucker, believe it or not, it is bigger than many houses in Florida. What 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 are the dimensions, cuz? Twenty four by thirty two, I think. Twenty four by thirty two. Twenty four by thirty. Twenty four by thirty. He's got heated air condition, drywall is up, and you wouldn't believe the way it's all decked out. In fact there's the back of it right there. There's the air conditioning unit. Look at that grass. That looks just like a golf course. And of course those pine trees you saw in my videos from September uh, 2008 are doing nothing but getting bigger. But those poplar trees, they're growing like weeds. That sucker's got to be 25 feet tall. All right, I got to get back and see what the boy's doing. I think since I quit videoing him, he started slacking. Yeah, cuz this is my first of 15 big days up here in Ohio. And I'm really looking forward to it. Yep, got to enjoy it because you know how it goes, he'll go fast. It'll go fast, yeah. You going in and get your oatmeal now? Yep. I worked I worked enough I need an oatmeal break. Yeah, I well, you know, you know what I'm going to have tonight, don't you? I imagine some chicken and uh, French fries. A little chicken tit and fries. You got it. Millich's Village Inn. <laughs> Buck, Terry, David, Renee, me, maybe Donna, the chick that uh, they're staying with. Huh? Yeah, I don't know. And it could have been you too, but you're working out with Randy, and I understand that. Pump some iron. Yeah. Well, don't believe me. Tomorrow morning, I will start my workouts on the treadmill. I'm looking forward to that. Yeah, I am going to go to Ben Hagee's, but I'm not going to go hog wild like I did last time. I, last time I was up here 11 or 12 days, and I think I consumed like 14 pounds of those chocolates. There's my rental vehicle. That thing styles. Uh, I found uh, Ben Hagee candy wrappers uh, for about two weeks after you left. You, I did, did I? Did I? I just said that for the, for the sake. You had me worried with that Ben Hagee's comment. Be that? Well, because I tried to be very careful to not leave any, uh, to not leave any wrappers around anywhere. Because oh. sometimes, I'll, I'll admit, I would wake up during the night hungry, and I'd knock off five or six of those suckers and then go back to sleep. I'm, I'm a, I mean, I'm a chump for those, those chocolates. I really they, am. They were so, good. Yeah, they are good. They they're still are. They're delicious. Yeah. You hey, still, you still have them uh, sent down to you there? I, I sure do, but they won't send them in the summer, only in the winter. Be because they'll melt. They'll melt yeah. Go get your oatmeal. Okay. All right. The yellow ones. What would you say these are? Lilies? Uh-huh. Lilies, yeah. They're, they're, they are gorgeous, Tim. And uh, yeah, these ones here will be yellow, and they'll be a really bright, pretty yellow. And they're perennials. They come back every year. Uh -huh. Just like tulips, they're a spring flower. What was that joke you just told me, cuz? You really want me to repeat it? Sure, yeah. Well, they're blackmail with. No, I'm not going to blackmail. What's, what's better than uh, roses on a piano? I have no idea. Two lips on an organ. Ooh, I think you're right. Oh, you nasty dude, you. Don't, joke. Don't, don't, wor joke. don't worry, I won't show that to anybody. That'll stay in the family. Okay. Yeah, I'm having trouble growing my roses down in Florida, and I know why. Because I have them surrounded with stones, and I also have plastic down. Oh, they, they like a lot of moisture. They but like they like, water. but they like to drain. Well drained. Well drained, and they also like semi-acidic soil, about 7.5. Is that right? Yeah, and I'm pretty sure that the uh, stone is neutralizing the uh, acid in the fertilizers uh, that I'm yeah. using. So when I get home, I'm going to dig them up, move them out someplace where I can plant them, and not have any stone around them and I'm going to put something in that area that will grow in stone. Uh, yep. And they'll deadhead themselves. They'll deadhead themselves. You're, uh -huh. you're saying they're knockout roses? Uh -huh. Knockout. That's, that's the uh, variety? Mm -hmm. Yeah. They, uh, they've been on for about 10 years now and uh, here recently they've even re uh, released, they have a, what they call a double knockout. Yeah. It has a double double bloom. Not, uh, knockout. And uh, where did you get yours? Mail order. Mail order? Yeah. Seeds, or did they send little bare root? Uh, bare root. Uh -huh. I may try those. 
Yeah, down there. Uh, you can buy them anywhere around here now. They're, they've really come down in price. And you don't, and so you don't have to trim them. Right. Well, no, I do. Uh, every year, I do. No, no, I mean the heads. You oh, don't, deadhead. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. You don't have to deadhead them. Yeah. But the, they, I, I ordered originally three uh, red and three pink. Yeah. And they were out of pink, and they sent me all red. Do they have yellow? I think they do now. I'll check it out. I'll go online and check it out. I think they do now have a yellow knockout. Hey, go check, go 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 get your oatmeal. You're wasting away to nothing there, big fellow. Hey, uh, yeah. One sixty nine here uh, a couple days ago. That's what you weigh. One sixty nine. It's the lowest I've ever been in my. Well, see, life. I'm pathetic. I weigh one eighty three right now. One sixty nine. And now here's a little shot of Seasuck's favorite chicken house, Millich's Village Inn in Barberton, Ohio on Cleveland Maslin Road. Why is it his favorite? I don't know, he just loves it. Why is it your favorite, Seasuck? Lay it on me. I think it has something to do with the fact that uh, they used uh, black magic from the harvesting of children's souls to make the chicken really good. Is that why the chicken tastes so good? That's my, that's I, did, good. I didn't know. I thought it was because they cooked it in lard, but oh boy am I bad. I, I guess I didn't know Jack, did I? Nope. Yep. Yep. Millich is Village Inn where they, uh, who, they participate in the Barberton Chicken Houses doing Four and a half tons of chicken a week. I sincerely wish you could capture the smell on video because as soon as I walked in here, I went, that's a memory. That's a memory. That's and a look, memory. and look, there's more memory. That good old bread. brown and white bread straight from the loaf. With butter. Straight from the loaf. We could we could go we could go to IGA and buy that stuff. Okay, Bring our own. It's probably burrito bread. Nothing but the best. Nothing but the best. I don't understand this. They have all these sides on here when they ought to just have applesauce and french fries. What? what oh, God, no. Mean? Oh, God, no. I got to have my coleslaw. Double coleslaw. <gasps> Forget that hot sauce. Forget that hot sauce. It sucks. You, 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 hang on a hot second. Sauce? I thought it was like... You asked me about hot sauce. It's like Spanish fly, but a little warmer. Let me see you that bread. I mean. Let me see that bread. You... I think Wonder Bread may be a little higher quality. <laughs> but I'm not here for the bread, I'm here for the chicken. We, no, no, we, we, we didn't order because uh, we were waiting on you. Jerry says she can hardly wait to lock lip on some of this grease. You know it. You can hardly wait to lock lip. Shit isn't fat free. What the heck? It's fat. Well, what Bucks got is fat free because it's spam. I know he's got some spam. Uh, um, what are those kind of sandwiches? Uh, hoagies. He's got some spam hoagies. That's right. She didn't have to worry. She didn't have to All day no, it wouldn't, it wouldn't matter. Anymore. Come on, order that oh, grease. It, order <laughs> that grease. Okay. Um, All white and two drumettes. Uh, I'll go with fries and applesauce, please. No hot sauce, huh? You get, you get another one here. You get three. Oh, uh, the boy knows his Double stuff. Double applesauce. Anything to drink? Uh, yeah, you'll have Coke or Pepsi here. Uh, this Coke is no ice, please. This is a man actually ordering a meal at Millich's Village Inn. I know, what, what did I this is incredible, huh? What did I get here when I was a kid? Chicken and fries. Okay. Here's another man placing a real live order at Millich's Village Inn. On the, back the crowd seat. waits There's in breathless a, anticipation. Hundreds of movies on it, so you can watch movies. I had the, she says, ah, oh, it's me. Jim so Belt. I had my Game Boy, I played games for a little bit. So there was stuff to do. You better, that, that better be margarine on that. Is that real butter? Yep. It's real butter. Nothing but the best at Millich's Village. Half and half for you. Renee, let me see you prepare yourself one of your... Come on, girl, let me see how you do it. Hey, uh, this thing only lasts 20 minutes, this DVD. Oh, I can make it last 20 minutes. Mm. That's, when some, that's what some chick used to tell me, and she was wrong.
We live in the same place. You do? Oh, we own our condo. Yeah. yeah. We... Okay. She applies the butter ever so gently. I thought you were out of Go, girl, go. There she goes now. Come on, let's see how you do. Show us what you do, girl. <laughs> then I said, hey, I remember that. That's how you used to do it. Uh -huh. Oh, no. No, that's not quite. There you go. That's the way you did it when you were a kid. I know. I totally. All right. This is what we flew a thousand miles for. No, I would love for you to do nothing. But we like kids a lot. Am I right, Renee? Renee says I can't even wait to eat. Uh oh. Amy says hi. Tell Amy right, I Amy, said I'll give hi. You a call right after my dad says hi. Hi. She's gonna come to Sluggers and Putters, and she's gonna bring her little kid. Cool. She's like my, Look uh, at my that boy take a big, my huge bite. Hey, Seasuck, let me see you dunk those fries. Something that Buck said is really great. He said, "Yes, fries and applesauce." As excited as I. Mm. Dad, what did you have? Diet soda. I had a, I had a diet soda with lemon and no ice. This? Oh, Look at that. No ice, please. Man, am I going to have fun finishing what she doesn't eat. <laughs> I, oh, I, I can hardly wait. My God, is that a dinner plate or a garbage pail? Yes, it, it, looks a, it looks a little bit more like a garbage pail. Look at that. He's still shoveling it in. That dude ain't going to be able to walk out to the car. No, we'll roll him out. You're doing a scrape beside of the aisle. You say that's not safe? No, that should be closed. Nipple or something? You know, get You're working your corner, huh? Right. <laughs> right, we're Out here on Cleveland Masson Road, he's working it. <laughs> oh, that's sad, and he's sober. Yes, Milich's Village Inn, home of some serious grease. The most serious. You saw the picture. Well, no, you didn't. It was a still picture. Who's that boy trying to kid? He hasn't worked a lick today. Buck said he would be torqued if he didn't have some shots of the old homestead that he's going to be moving out of pretty soon because he's building a new home. Yeah, that's right. It's kind of uh, overcast today and cloudy because it's been raining. Well, this is it, Buck and Terry, the house that you sold and moved out of. Or who knows, maybe you kept it and rented it. I don't know what you're going to do. On Wilden Avenue, one of your all-time favorite neighborhoods. Hey, those are the same kind of lilies that Tim has planted. I'm telling you, that Buck is a madman when it comes to landscaping. Such talent I have never seen before and look at those impatience they can hardly wait to grow up and bloom and fill out well keeping with the excitement of the theme of this video recently I thought I would show you the <laughs> the tailpipe on the car you know cuz just to add a little more excitement to the video yep and there's the old backyard Buck and Terry used to call this home. Yeah, times are tough. The boy has to raise his own food. You'll notice there are very few squirrels in this neighborhood. Sir, no video is allowed of the property. I'll tell you what, that Buck, he really does keep that yard up good. Hey, this video is just about full. Woohoo! Yep, the boy even had a huge tree, although I don't think that's his. That was at the corner of his lot. Terry, I know right about now you're getting a huge tear in your eye. Either viewing this, knowing you're going to be leaving it, or in remembrance of what you left. Okay, that's it. Later. Ooh, no, I might as well go. This thing's about ready to fill up.
Look at that rental vehicle. I can still hear you, by the way. You can still hear who? Renee. Oh. I can still hear you. Come on, you dumb thing. Fill up. Yeah, we got some tomatoes. Ah, yes, we begin disc two with the kids at one of their favorite venues and buck two. You got it. Osers in Canal Fulton, where a quarter will get you a pound of ice cream. That's close. I know, I know. Best deal. I know it. I do want to walk down there, though, and see that place. I can't remember the name of it now. I know Joe swears by that place though. Yeah, I know he's got the coin. Yeah, we'll go down there as soon as David gets done flapping his gums, whatever the heck he's doing down there. He's he's probably expounding on something. Ask me that again to see what? Does he tell the truth usually when he's telling this? David? Does he tell the truth? Yeah. Uh, I, I guess when it suits him, he'll tell the truth. The rest of the time, there's no profit in his wine. He 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 and Dude have been known to sup. He and Dude have been known to sup at the same table. Yeah. Okay. What was the first time we came here, Dad? Oh, you were about six years old. Yeah. Six years old. Yep. First time he ever came into Osir. Yeah. Uh huh. Six so years old. Check it out. Look at this. Oh, yeah. right here for you. you guys ready to move on? Oh, you you got yourself some cream, huh? Yeah. Oh, okay. I got it. All right, let's roll. Roll on. Roll on. Yep. David loves the old wooden floors in this place. And the back room. The main intersection in Canal Fulton, it's busier than busy. Look at those cars lined up and getting them revved up. Manhattan for a minute. You got it. Berry crumble. What is it? Lemon blueberry crumble? Lemon blueberry crumble. It's really good. At that's, Osers. That's a small, isn't it? Um, this is one step up from a small. This was like two bucks. Oh, okay. But look at that. Look at that. It's so big that it's melting. He hasn't been able to get it under control. Where's your sis, by the way, for crying out loud? Still inside, deciding what she wants. Yep, heading to the east. David and Renee's favorite little ex-village. It's now a corporation or a city. Canal Fulton. And we're at the intersection of State Route 93 and... Who knows? And then we're going to head right up that way to Toys Time Forgot. Check out the we got to check out the canal on the towpath. Hey, stainless steel. Hey, really soft and pliable. All right. What'd you get, Boots? Adult cone. Child cone. Child cone. I said, pretend like I'm two years old. Uh, hey, what flavor is it? Uh, it's a peanut butter brownie. I want to taste it. It's a buck seventy-five. I want. I want to taste it. Dang, honey, that's good. Delicious. I mean, that's Delicious. real good. Hey, Buck. Yes. We have to show the kids what a tow path is. Show them what a towpath is? Yeah, I was telling. We have to show. Them. Yeah, I was tell. I was tell talking about how they turned the towpath of the uh, Erie Canal into a uh, hiking and joggers trail. Yeah. And they said, "What's a towpath, Dad?" Uh, and I explained it, so we're going to show them a towpath. Look, I like my daddy. I got the gist of it when he explained it, but now he he must show us. No, but you got, but 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 hey, but you wanted to see a lock. You wanted to see a lock, and I can show you where a lock is if we go on the towpath. Oh, I have something very important to tell you, and I'm tell glad me. we have it documented. Tell me. Amy called last night and said, oh, she forgot to get you last. Oh, that so bitch. Upset. That bitch. She goes, I can't believe I 
forgot to flick your dad off. I, I will nail her big time when I drop you off tonight. Her husband might not appreciate that. Well, I don't care what her husband appreciates. I'll have Buck with me. He'll work that dude over. I gotta have. I'll have my muscle back up. Well, you're you take care of Amy. He's gonna nail, nail her husband. husband. Well, that's, <laughs> that's sick. I don't want to talk about that. That is sick. Yeah, that's. You, you guys, you guys are sick. Hey, you know what I just thought of? What I just remembered? What's that? This was the last place that I saw you guys before you. Oh, that's right. We came to Osers for. That? They, I don't. They don't remember it, but I do. Hey, let me turn it. Wait, let me turn it off. Nice. I say to have a bite of it, and I didn't my cone taken away from me. It's going to be more than a bite because this sucker is going to be down to bite G. Scum, you better relinquish the cream. Oh, I know it's good. It's not something I would normally enjoy. But oh God, this can I have one more bite? Of course you can. Behind me. Didn't take a big one. Take a big peanut butter filled bite. So this is pure heaven. Yeah, it's delicious. Beaches and cream. Forget it. Oh, screw beaches and cream. You can have another bite. It's okay. It was only a buck seventy-five. It was a deal at twice the price. I don't want to eat the whole thing on you. Well, I don't want to eat the whole thing either. It's a kid-sized cone, big enough for an adult. Ram into me. You gotta you love them. Yes, you. Oh. Well, they have all these specialty flavors. I've got some other ones I want to try. The blueberry one yesterday was no good, but really, at three dollars, I could afford to throw that away. Like the blueberry one? Well, no, but the thing is, I asked the guy for a half a scoop of one flavor and a half a scoop of the other flavor, and I had enough ice cream for three freaking people. That's for sure. Well, here, let me get you this back, and we're going to go down to the canal. I'm going to take it. Okay. Your mom used to make the most incredible homemade banana ice cream. No, wait, I said your mom and I'm pointing to Buck. That, that ain't good. Your mom. And, and her strawberry ice cream was so good it was to die for. Banana and strawberry. What? Never had her ice cream. You never had any, you never came down when we made ice cream? Yeah. That's unbelievable. You get the call. Oh, uh, that, well. That's probably because I was trying to save up from your other visits. You had me working two jobs for crying out loud. I don't do it much anymore. Yeah, but you and dude, man, I'll yeah. tell you what, between the two of you, eat me out of house and home. Well, you had to work to be able to afford to buy the boobs of dude man some pants, right? Uh, yeah, dude man. Hey, big fellow, uh, you can't run around here in your tidy whities why not? Gee, you do it. Because I'm married to her. Buck, is this part of the Tuscararas or the... This is part of the canal, isn't it? The Tuscararas is, is back behind us. No, Osa's was not always a deli. I didn't think so. I thought it was just ice cream. Joe said... Those weren't those two ladies at the counter eating? Are they actually eating? Huh? Well, I, I'm not sure, but I thought they were in there to eat food. I didn't, I didn't see any uh, stove back or anything like that. You still eating ice cream or are you into your sandwich now? Ice cream. Every day of my life. Hey, that's not a bad little nature area. Here we are along the old Ohio Erie Canal. <laughs> We're about ready to encounter a tow pick. I mean a tow path. Tow pick. Sure, a hundred degrees would be great if you're in a water park, but I sure wouldn't want to be out cutting the grass. Me either. That's why I'm a condo. Well, I do it for Sarge. Hey, honey. Yes, Daddy. What do you suppose that means? Coach House Oral. Well, if you could read it, it says Coach House Floral. Oh, floral. I'm going to guess it's a florist shop. Oh, I thought it said Coach House Oral, and I thought maybe Mickey's Quickies had moved into Canal Fulton. It's a house of ill repute. It's just been great. I uh, know it was actually a buddy of mine that. I love to stand in the middle of the street and video a little Canal Fulton for David and Renee for their memories. Because they used to love to come into Canal Fulton. Well, it's really 
And Buck is crazy for Canal Fulton. Oh yeah, especially standing out in the middle of the road. Like now this is vintage Ohio Erie Canal. Absolute vintage. You can see it's pristine. It's very pristine. Cleanest water in Ohio, right there. They were never able to set it on fire. Now the Cuyahoga cannot make that claim. Boots sucking it down. She is letting no grass grow under her feet on that cone. Well, unlike someone. What was the flavor? What was the flavor again? Peanut butter and brownie fudge. Oh, it was great. What'd you have, David? I didn't even taste yours. It was the one I had yesterday that you. I don't know if you tasted it or not. It was a lemonberry swirl. I did not taste it yesterday. It's delicious. It's very refreshing. Don't worry. We'll hit Osers a few more times before you kids leave. And then, and then, and then, and then, and then, and then, Saturday when you two a hoes fly out of here, Saturday night, starting Sunday, I'll be down at Osers every day. Buck and I are coming down <laughs> every day for the flavor of the day. Oh yes. He likes every ice. Day. He likes ice cream, especially banana. He likes the buck. What was it called? Buck what? Buck, buck ice something. Yeah, but it was just short. And you eating before. sandwiches now? Mm -hmm. Sounded good. Whatever. Uh, now that I got a better angle, I can see that. Coach House floral and gifts. Hey, is this part of Amish country? David's not going to be able to walk down this trail until he goes back and uses the John. Oh, this, tra this trail isn't paved. Am I allowed to dump here? Huh? No, you're oh. breaking the rules. You saw the sign. I did see that. I saw the hand, sign. Hand David some toilet paper and send him into the woods, okay? Because otherwise he is not going to be able to walk this trail. Toilet paper? Well, that, you, you know, the, for the, the one that we started to go into, that goes right to Clinton. We love it. We love it. Oh, I have a bike, a kayak. Yeah, we decided to head over to the towpath where the mules actually work in the summertime. Don't know if they'll be out today, but we'll check it out. If there's one thing David loves, it's the Cherry Street Creamery. Because that boy loves a good cream. This might become his new favorite ice cream place in Canal Fulton. I see him reaching into the it, what's going on? I just don't know. The boy just had ice cream from Osers. What the heck's going on? David at the window of the Cherry Street Creamery. Hey son, what are you getting? Your mom? Well, you'll need a shovel to do that. That's at the place we're staying now is 16, and my cat's 14 and looks a, a million times better than this cat. Well, yeah, this cat's just keeping on and whatnot, but uh. Hey, hey, Buck! Didn't I yeah. tell you not to bring those stinking glasses? <laughs> you know what? I didn't even mean to carry them out of the car. I, I, I hey, I'll tell you what. I want to put them in the car and get my uh, my rain. Yeah, well, let's go yeah, do yeah, that because it's jacket, it's gonna the sun will come out. it's gonna start pouring down rain in just a second. You think so? I'm feeling rain right now, and look at the, how dark it's getting. Yeah. We better hustle back to the car. Oh, that the man has sunk so low. As we were. No, I'm so excited. We can document Bucky's order at Subway. We not only can we document it, but we can say, since I moved to Florida, the boy has. It's now Subway. Used to be he could save up all of his money during the week. <laughs> and then he could go to Quiznos. Really? They're still open in Florida. Yep. Yep, this is Buck at his favorite Subway in Canal Fulton. 
It's nothing more than a day in the life. Look at Boot Butt. She's like, oh, look at the sandwich it. that he just ordered. That's probably that's, that's loaded with bologna. All right, what kind is it? It is a buffalo chicken with spinach, tomato, pickle, and honey mustard on honey oat bread. Thank you so kindly for inquiring. That girl knows her stuff. I was paying attention. Mmm, he's so good. I hope it doesn't have pickles on it. Well, when I said pickles, it was probably indicative of there being pickles on it, but you know, I could have just been kidding. I hope you were kidding because when I go to finish it, I, you know I don't like my pickles. Well, there's tons of pickles, and uh, I'm guessing that Bucky's not going to be having you finish anything. This is Bucky, not Terry. Oh, uh, that's true. And plus, it's, it's not Ch fried chicken. Ch 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 Terry eats like a... Uh, what, a fly or a sparrow? Yes. No? Yep. Buck's favorite. Oh, uh, really? What's the name of this place? What's the name of this place, Renee? They call it Subway. Yeah, his favorite Subway in Canal Fulton. Thank you, honey. That, Subway. That, that helps. Eat fresh. Eight subs with six grams of fat or less. Oh, yeah. That yes. ain't one of them. <laughs> Now, a little shot of the main drag here in uh, Canal Fulton, Portage, uh, yeah, Portage Drive, I think it is. Right back there, Slugger and Putters, where we did our miniature golf last night. A van comes through, Aunt M's Ice Cream. They'll probably want to go over there for dessert. Are you telling are you telling me that you're not too pleased with the music that they have here at Subway? Well, for this music sure is good. I feel like I'm going to hold down. Yeah, I feel like I'm back in Haines City. Haines City, uh, that's right. No thank you. I Man, got some look at that. Big techno pumping. He, in. He, I can't finish it, big boy. Why don't you finish it off? He hoovered that sucker. That's what he left for me. Good, good thing I, I'm a oh, small yeah, eater. He was, he was, this is all this is no snack for you. It's right here. Where? What is it? You'll have to hold it. The pickles? Forget it. I absolutely despise pickles. Oh, it tastes so good when it hits your lips. Eat, eat, eat them all, wench. Bread with just a pickle between it and tell you to finish it off. You told him to save a tiny bit of bread with a pickle between it? You can you can have that for breakfast oh, tomorrow. Oh, you know you would have eaten that. You're like a dust buster. No, no, I wouldn't. Can't believe it. I didn't know that the boy went with a dessert, too. And he's loving it. Terry, see what you're missing out on, Terry? Oh, don't while, tell her that. She's got a bigger sweet tooth than he does. Yeah, but while she's working, we're out having a good time and Buck's spending coin. These are sugar-free. That, that's money that could have been gone towards the house. I know. I was Wait, trying to help you out. I got to go outside real quick. I got to go outside real quick. That's right, day two. And look it's at... It's a miracle. It's a... We're safe. Sunshine, nothing but solid sunshine here. They're taking it all off. Whoa, easy there, chick. This is a G-rated <laughs> home video. Get that, get that, Jesus Christ. You sorry pervert. Oh man, that's sickening. <laughs> yes, boo. Where, where's your shadow? Well, that nothing but solid sunshine. Oh man, I'm working on my tan and catching some serious rays. Hey, we gotta go back, uh, when he's done, we gotta go back to Garber the Barber. Look at that, look at that shadow. A me and my shadow. I was yours and I was like, you were way off. Right? No, I was wait, looking. Wait, whoa. This is important. What? It's first time ever. What? Hurry up, this DVD's about full. All right, well, it's only gonna take a second. My dollar store buy. Oh, she got herself some shades. Yeah. All right, you could do a cool walk. But if you do it, back up so I can get it all. Oh, I think she's going to do it. I think she's going to do it. A cool walk. Better hurry. It's about full. One, two, three. Watch the car. <laughs> uh, I think that something has been lost through the years. I don't know. I kind of hurt my Oh. 
David bugged me. He said, Dad, I need a haircut. Can I go to Garber the Barber? Well, first he asked me, does Garber the Barber still cut hair? And I said, yes, he does, son. He said, I want to go. So here we are in Canal Fulton. You are uh, State Highway 93 right behind us. And it's Garber the Barber time. And then, of course, there's somebody over here trying to sleep it off. <laughs> this boy right here, he's got his belly full. And he said, gee, I need some Z's. And I need some bad, big boy. I need some Z's. Well, at least one thing, you haven't put on any weight. That's for darn sure. Yeah, can't. I have trouble. Well, let's go. I see. Look at Renee. She wasted no time. She's already into Garber's Barber Shop, the remodeled um, garage, and he's been here for at least thirty years. We should all get a haircut. And there's the boy waiting patiently. And I, I'm not, not sure. But, I think his sis might be getting a haircut too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What'd you say, honey? I said Bucky can have one, but, but I'm not that. You're not going to have one, huh? <laughs> hey, looks like we timed it pretty good. I think the boy's up next. David, that was you about 23 years ago. Now he's way more well behaved than I was. <laughs> yeah, he hasn't moved over around the department scale. Look at that. Look at that. Look, a haircut, still only $12. Well, that's pretty cheap. Buck up, you get bubble gum or a sucker when he finishes. Awesome. You should love that. Sucker for a sucker. You got it. <laughs> Look at that, he's so excited about it. He's texting your mom, letting her know he's going to get a sucker. Yeah, we just got in, Tom. He said, does, we, we always referred to you as Garber the Barber. He said, does Garber the Barber still cut hair? I said, I don't know, but we'll find out. How do you like a cut? I like to get a one on the sides and then fade it up and take about a half inch off the top. All right. Then after he's done, we'll, we'll like check out the finished mushroom. product. I'm sure I do. Actually, you could be... Yeah, he looks a little bit like Ringo Starr. He does not. Who's he look like? He looks like Dingo Starr. I don't know. He doesn't look like a specific beetle. He just has long hair. This is not long hair compared to beetles. I know. You got that right. Uh, it's been so long since he's had a good haircut, he ain't going to know how to act. Who gives you a great haircut? Carmen. Haircut yeah, but don't you always have to go back and have her correct it? No. Oh. Oh, that's when you go to trim and tan. Yeah. I get confused. The boy can't believe what a good haircut he's getting. Hey, it may not hurt to get a shave while he's at it. What do you think, Renee? Amazing. No, but shouldn't he get a shave, too? Awesome. Yes, excellent. Hey, what do you guys want to do when he gets done? Any idea? They're engrossed in a Playboy article. Hey, what? it's all about the article. Well, all the boy's right. just about done. I guess he is done. Does he have any gel here? Okay, so. Good cut. Especially on the sides. It doesn't look like it's been blocked. Do you blocked. have any gel here, Tom, or no? No. Water. Water does not make gel. That is his favorite part. See, I know, I know that you all thought I was kidding, but as you can see, Sea Suck did not leave the place without a... Uh, without a sucker and by the way uh, I really like the way he cut up the sides of your head it's more rounded than squared off now maybe that'll change when you uh, put the gel in it but actually I think it looks better down the way it is but it, I think he gave you a good cut are you it's happy short to gel up. move over move over to, to my are you happy with it 
It's a little short on the top, but it'll grow. Yeah, actually, I think it looks. Well, my my opinion is I, I like the hair shorter myself, but nah, I uh, like it a little longer because I like it spiked up. Well, like you said, in a week you'll be oh, spiking. Yeah, it'll be fine, and you did do a really good job around the back and side, so I yeah. have no problems. With yes, that. he did. I, I, better than uh, the chicken hair cuttery, in my opinion, on the on the back and sides. Yeah, I've seen your haircuts. Are you guys ready to roll? Happy. Straight he, furry. You know, he, he, he was happy until he found out that he didn't get any bubble gum. I think he's going to go back and try and get bubble gum, too. I don't gum. Man, oh, this sun is unbelievable. It's Ohio, man. What a it's day. What a day. Sun every day. Day in, day out. He's jumping and he's trying to land without... Good old shoe. Carla's Pizza and Chicken. The boy's pulling in for a couple of wings and a cut. That's right, we're back at Oaks because now it's my turn. And Buck's into the uh, the afternoon Oaks chat. Hasn't changed a whole lot over the years. Yeah, it's changed some, but not that much. Hey, hey Blondie, aren't you, aren't you getting tired of all of those stories, huh? All the what? All the stories. Say yes, say yes I am. Yes I am. Thank you. <laughs> Could be. When you press the on switch, did you press? I have already pressed the on switch. Oh, you've already pressed the on switch. Well now everybody out there, G's got his own ice cream. It isn't Renee's. What but is I got my bites back. <laughs> Banana peanut butter? No. Peanut butter brownie. Peanut butter brownie. It's delicious, isn't it? Yes. I guess we're going to have to go to the toys that time forgotten, and then we'll go down the uh, Ohio Canal, okay? Woohoo! You got it. What time are you going to All right, Bucky. To, uh, oh, he's on the phone, but I figure he's going to hug that tree. He's so close. Go ahead. Give it a hug. No, he kicked the tree. It looked to me like he's, he's checking it Aww. out like a dog would. Oh, uh oh, that uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, you're gonna, Lift oh, that oh, leg. Woo, 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 there are the legs, and there's the hiney, that's for you, Darian, woo, woo. There goes Boots heading up to toys that time forgot. Right? Yes, we're still here in Canal Fulton, and loving every second of it. So, what? Cell phones is great. Why? You mean because people can get a hold of you or? Dropouts. Oh, Dropouts. yes. I hate it. Right. Is Terry going to come tonight then, Buck? Yeah. Okay, yeah. good. She says she'll, uh, she'll be meeting you out there. Okay, well, let's go up to Toys at Time Forgot and then we're going to check out the canal, okay? okay. Sounds good. Where the heck? I didn't get out, I think, because the knee was bothering me. Where the heck are they going? I think we're going to see if they can get on that boat. Though they do get boat rides in the summer. By the way, when we drove by Sluggers and Putters a little bit ago, yeah. it didn't look like there was anybody there. I don't know how they make a living. Huh. Are you guys striking a pose for a picture that Buck's taken? I guess they are. They're right here in the... Hey, thank you! You sack of scum. I hear Buck counting. One, two, three. As you can see, nothing but solid sunshine here in Ohio. This boat used to be pulled up and down the uh, Ohio Erie Canal. Was retired just last year whenever they uh, decommissioned the canal. They're not using it anymore. Or at least that's what David told me. Hey, let's go on down the towpath. Not to be confused. Com confused. Confused with Topic. 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 Come on, let's go down. I'm going to try and show you a lock. I think they have one in that building I'll down there. I'll show you a stock and a barrel. We'll be. <laughs> I'm so witty. You are. 
half witty. As we get closer and closer, to the, David says, I'm going to work on my tan. Well, it's hot, but it's not brutally hot. It's not Florida hot, for thank God. Hooray! I'll tell you what, though. If you laid out in this sun for a couple of hours, right now, it could do some serious damage. Yep, this is it. Part of the old Ohio Erie Canal. And there's, there's the St. Helena. They actually give... Uh, boat rides at various times during the summer. I don't think they give them. I think you have to pay for them, but this is it. This is it. This is what we've been doing. Checking out where the kids used. They used to have old canal days down here in the park. Yep. Port of Canal Fulton St. Helena 3. Canal Fulton Heritage, Herod. Heritage Society. Come on. G. Get it together. And that's the path we're going to be walking down, the tow path, where animals used to cart the boats up and down the canal, mules and horses. A thousand miles and thousands of dollars for the kids to come on a sorry playground. <laughs> this is where it ends up. Unbelievable. <laughs> this boy here just thought he was Noah. He's out there looking for two by two. Well, I'm going to walk down in that in that building down there is what you wanted to see a lock, I believe. Uh oh, Buck's getting paged from work. Yep, this canal winds for or used to wind. Uh, I believe uh, the total length was. Uh, 5,720 miles all through Ohio. <laughs> Wait a minute, I hear somebody laughing. So well, what are you talking about? Like, your factoids are about as accurate. <laughs> what are you talking about? I got, that's the one I, that, that's one of the best, I got, I got that from the uh, best source around. That's one heck of a... I, I, was a I was able to pull that directly from my A, oh, well, well, I better not say anymore. Pretty much figured out which. Yeah, they probably have. Where, where's Renee? Is she with us? Well, I don't know, but it seems like every three minutes somebody's got a phone up their ear, so I'm a uh, pretty penny. I'm pretty sure that that costs a pretty penny unless they know how to, knew how to build it themselves. Even yeah. so, the uh, the materials would have come. But that's a nice, that's a darn nice looking wall out here behind the uh, behind the canal. Yeah, Canal Fulton's old, but it's still a nice community. I think. She's, She's sitting on a swing. swing the yep, we're making our way back to the car. There's Osers, there's Buck, and I'm bringing up the rear as always. I'm sorry, I did not know. Oh, I was just curious. Yes, Hartville Kitchen since 1966. And that's where we're going for supper. Hey, you know, if you're not that hungry, you and David could split a meal. Maybe. You know? I'm really, uh, I'm not hungry at all. I hope Terry doesn't get here until more like 5.30, to be honest with you, but. Well, like, like I said, or you could have a dessert. Don't even, you know, don't even eat a whole meal. So Seasuck comes out here to Hartville Kitchen and what's the first thing he wants to do? Steal some of their electricity, which I didn't think they were supposed to believe in. Charge his phone. Huh? <laughs> well, these people aren't Amish. They're, they just have a restaurant in Amish country, right? Say, the giant electric shed in there would be a first dead giveaway. Well, yeah, but not only that, uh, Dutch Valley, that is supposed to be an Amish restaurant. And they have to use electricity or they can't make food to make their money. Yeah, I don't think the FDA would... Uh, no. Go for a restaurant that didn't have refrigerators. What token? Oh, you know what? This uh, battery pack is just about done for the day. Yay! Nothing like a good Hartville collectible. 
unless it would be a good woman. Ah, yes, here we sit at our table. Did you ever move back to Ohio? No. Never. Never. <laughs> and he shares my sentiment. Oh, if someone offered me a job up here making six figures, I would move up to Ohio. Yeah, because you would That's be able to way. vacation wherever you wanted. Yeah. Ohio, Florida, yeah. etc. But that's the only way. There she is, the chicken tender kid. He, he's a chicken tender kid too. Virginia or Texas or more than likely Florida. So that wonderful part Bill. There's a Lockheed Martin branch right in there. Uh-oh. I feel it coming on. Main Street. And you drive five minutes to get in into it. Yes, ma'am. Yep. Hartville Kitchen in the heart of Amish country. We even saw the sign that said, Beware of the horse and buggy. Did, it? did you see that, Renee? I did not. David saw it. Yeah, just as we were coming off of 43 onto 619, there was a sign that said, Beware of the buggy. I'm going to go look around the gift shop because go, I wasn't done. Go look around the gift shop. I'm going to go. Well, I'll sit here and talk to Terry because she hasn't been on the tape too much. Thank God now that we don't have anybody bringing us down. So the guy was like, oh, well, then I'll start him at the, uh, the top tech rate, seventeen fifty an hour to 20 an hour. So Looks like the boy's the having some chicken tenders. And Renee, when she gets here, is going to have some roast beef, macaroni and cheese, noodles and salad. And of course, G has to have his usual chicken, mashed potatoes, and, and corn. And Terry tilted up there, show me. I always have to know what we're having on these. Chicken tenders. Hot sauce. Hot sauce, sweet potato. And I can tell by the way those jaws are going that it's good. She loves it. And that's it. I always like to just show what we had to eat here at Hartville Kitchen. There she is inquiring about Bitto Honey and Mary Jane here at the old candy factory and bake shop. Yep, she consulted the big guns expert and she says, no, no Bitto Honey, no Mary Janes. No blackjacks. Create your own candy at the Twisted Tarts Candy Factory. That's what I'm trying to do, but I can't find the uh, the product. Uh oh, Buck. Looks like Terry has found. What is it? Bullseyes. Bullseyes? Are they? What are they? Caramel with the cream in it. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I love those things. Well, I guess I better go find my kids. I only have a minute left on my uh, on my battery pack. What'd you get, honey? Um, I got rings to dragonfly. Cool. And then I bought something pretty for Donna for letting us stay with her. Oh, that was nice. It's very nice because of all the story. Hey, uh, are you ready to go? As soon as I can. Well, actually, I am ready to go. Well, let's then, get out of here. Let's do it. Oh, okay. What you have to pay first? I know. Oh man, that's no really, good. It's an antiquated tradition. Really. Yes. I, I smiled. I provided pleasant conversation. I showed her where her scissors were located, and still I have to pay. You know, really, I think it's I did a full day's work. And this is where Renee's been shopping at Hartville Kitchen, the gift shop. Looks almost like a department store. All right, time to blow this popcorn stand and take her down to Amy's. My battery pack's about dead. Tell everybody, sayonara. Sayonara. We're out of Hartville Kitchen. Time to roll. Renee's coming. She bought some things. She got Debbie a present for letting you guys stay there. Okay. That was nice of her. I gave Tim some coin. There she goes to spend some more cash. She forgot there was one other thing she wanted to get. Hey, this is it. Tell them. Bye-bye. Hartville Kitchen. I'm stuffed. Mm. Oh, uh, Hartville Worcester. Hartville Worcester. Dateline Hartville Worcester. Ooh. Hartville Kitchen in Worcester. That chick knows her demographics and her geography. I know that when I it said that it was Worcester earlier, it still said Hartville on Hartville. Get up there, boy. Know. Tell everybody goodbye. Geography. She doesn't know her Get asshole up. from a hole in the ground. Get up there. Tell everybody goodbye. Goodbye. From Har goodbye. from Hartville yeah. Kitchen I in Saint Goodbye. I do, I do to you and you and you.
All right, that's it. We are out of here. This is where uh, Renee and David have been staying. Um, they're in Stowe, very close to Kent. And did they ever luck out? If you don't think this is a pretty setting, you're crazy and surrounded by huge trees. Look at those plants. They're staying with uh, Donna. And uh, it's only 15 minutes from here to Tim's. I have to drive through Kent. It just could, it couldn't have worked out any better uh, of a place where, uh, for them to stay since we couldn't all stay together. And I'll tell you what, it's just been ideal. Yes, look at those flowers close up and personal here in June in Ohio. I'm standing outside right now. I know it's about 98 degrees in Florida. It's uh, about 68 degrees here. There's the road we come down across from uh, Kent State University Airport. And this is where the, ki the kids, uh, I'm telling you, it's, this is, it's just been perfect for us. Absolutely perfect. Renee just popped her head out the door and said that they're just about ready, so I'll go around to the back patio in a second. Yep, and this is the street driving down away from the main highway where the kids have been staying. Oh yes, one more time for my lovely rental vehicle from Enterprise Rent-A-Car. We can do it, gee, we can do it. And here's the back where the kids were staying. Heck of a nice deck back here. David just walked around. I don't know where he just walked around the side of the house. I don't know what the heck he's doing. But this is Donna's backyard. I'll tell you, we're going to check out the vegetation in just one moment. David said this is his favorite flower pot in all of Ohio. Well, it's quite obvious that Seasuck has not been exercising. He brought his bike, but he hasn't been using it. Yes, as soon as Renee comes out of the house, we're going to take off. But this is the backyard of Donna's place where the kids stayed. And they've been thoroughly enjoying it. They'd like it to be a little sunnier, although it was sunny the first two days that we were here. But it looks like we may have a gray day all day today. But it, the temperature is so pleasant. It's only about 70 degrees. No humidity to speak of. It's gorgeous for me. And then another planting area. I think I heard boots come out the door. It may be time for us to take off. It is. It's a little girl. Not so little anymore. Oh, you're a lot younger than me. Nancy says, woohoo, she's on camera. Didn't even have to do her hair. That's right. I paraphrased for you. All right. I thought I was home free. You see it. Metro Parks. The Gorge, one of the kids' favorite places to come hiking when they were little. And we're going to do it again. Wait a minute. Looks like David's doing some warm-ups before he hits the trails. No, my foot's bothering me. Do you want to go play putt-putt instead? No, 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 no. This is a constant problem for me. Oh, like, Buc like Bucky's legs. I guess. Well, he's having problems with one with a, a not a tendon, a ligament. Okay. I think it's a ligament based on what he's telling me. Well, this is it. We're going to head down the gorge. What are you talking about? We just seen it. Hold it. That's it. Well, hey, we, we we just gorged ourselves, so now we're going to 